ESPN and major platforms push this narrative of sitting out, avoiding this team to play this team. Jerry Buss would be rolling over in his fucking grave if he thought his team was going to lay down. The team that Shaquille O'Neal played for and w- Wilt Chamberlain and Magic Johnson and Kobe Bryant, that team, the guy that the team that has more MVP, Hall of Famers, uh, champions, uh, top 50 players than any other franchise that holds 17 banners up over their arena. That team, to avoid a team, is sickening, dog. And I, I'm just like, who? Hey, Matt, let me ask you. You and I are ready to go to the Lakers Stadium today, uh, Staples, and we're going to say, hey, Matt, we're gonna, we got this L today. You guys chill out. We got this L. We're going to take this L. We're good. One, two, three, L. What the fuck are we talking about? Which is why I said from the start before Matt joined, we're all, this is a, this is a fun conversation. It, it, it's it's t- fun to talk about. The networks are going to talk about. It's not happening. The LeBron and AD are going to I play hope. tomorrow. They're going to they're they're go play. They're going to go play, and they're more than likely – they're gonna win. I, it's not going to be a guarantee to win. The Pelicans aren't some slouches, but I think the Lakers are going to win the game. They're going to play because, like you said, you can't go out there. It's, it's it's actually more stupid to go lose and then put your lives on the line to even miss the play. You know, to miss the playoffs. That's stupid. Go out there, win, secure a spot, and then hey, see what happens. It's the playoffs. Who knows? Just get your foot in the door and see what happens. The Miami well, Heat made it all into the damn finals as an eight seed. So. Who knows don't, what don't you want? Don't you want the opportunity to right the wrong? And don't you want the Nuggets, bro? Like you know firsthand, they were talking so much shit to the Lakers. We, at the end we of the have year. been talking shit since the fucking inception of them. We hate the fucking Lakers, right? Everybody in this town hates the Lakers. Like the Lakers don't hate us yet, but they're getting there. But we fucking hate you. We understand how many titles you have. We understand how many fucking great players are from the Lakers. We get it. I respect you. That's actually how I look well, at that, it. That, like, that's good because we've earned that respect being the champs. So finally, the respect is there. That's good. I'd rather you hate me than respect me. But, but look, no, I, I see, see from the, I nugget, see me, the Nuggets perspective, I think the Nuggets yeah, respect the fact that, hey, guess what, dog? We're earning your respect by talking that shit. Well, they so, respect they respect the Lakers and they show it by hating you. How much we hate you. That's how much we respect you. So, I mean, last year, the entire parade was about talking shit about the Lakers. Fuck the Heat. You know, the, the Nugget country knew that we were going to win the title after they beat the Lakers. The Heat had no chance, even though Brent or over there <laughs> picked them in six. I, I, I look, I think that the Nuggets just are in a position where they're in a special time in history where they're healthy and they're good and they're they're just better than everybody else. LeBron yeah. is, I think LeBron, when he wants to be, is the most unguardable force on the court. I just don't know how much he wants to be that guy. I, well, I want he's 40, to, though, Matt, too. Can we, can we throw that out? No, 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 no. That, that doesn't I don't care how old he is. You can say that, but it it literally matters. For us, Bro, to, LeBron, no, no, LeBron, no, 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 LeBron today is not the same year. LeBron as he was in 2016. Well, Matt. I'm he's not saying not. he is, I'm, but he, he, you can't <laughs> muster up. Instead of saving it for four more years of playing half the games and being just kind of there and being a sideshow, why don't why don't we just muster up everything you got for one more playoff run and go fucking end on a high note? But like I agree when when all the old heads get around basketball wise and they're like LeBron's gonna have every record and, and they sit there and they go yeah the motherfucker played for long enough he better have every record they're not sitting there being like yeah that's because he's the best they're talking shit. So I, I want to see LeBron, if he's going to be regarded as one of these Mount Rushmore type players, because we sure do forget about a lot of other guys when we talk about him being on the Mount Rushmore, and there's only four spots. And, like, well, do we have several Mount Rushmore for centers? Like, like there's it's a really hard conversation. My, my question is, yeah. if he wants to be regarded as that guy, in my eyes, moving forward, I need to see him go do it again, bro. Like, I all these just one-off things, like, He's old, then retire. Why, if he's old and he's not at his best, why is he still playing? Hold on, that, I don't know, Matt. So, he so, want to play with his son. I'm not even. I'm not even LeBron. Well, guy, so I'm not trying to, so he manipulated I, an entire organization to draft his kid. So he's we're not at his best. And be shitty for and not maximize our potential, and he doesn't have to play. So we can bring his kid in, so they can have fucking LeBron James and. Hey, Smitty, I'm gonna, James Smitty, 
Smitty, I want you to address Matt before we move on to the football question, but I got to ask you this, though. Don't you think the Lakers organization who's won 17 rings, who are pretty much Mount Rushmore of organizations, as far as everything, I think they're one of the biggest brands in the world sports-wise. Cowboys, mm-hmm. Lakers, Yankees, Dodgers. I mean, you can Patriots maybe now. I don't know. We can argue, right? Man, Why do. are we dependent on a 40-year-old man to lead us to the championship? I, I, I'm asking because I'm being serious. This is one of the most iconic organizations in the in, on planet Earth, and we haven't figured out that we can't go get something else in this whole big picture of things. Like this organization, to be honest, has been pretty bad before this shitty bubble thing, pretty bad for about 10, 12 years other than a bubble championship and – a bunch of they, we got rid of a but the whole Pelicans team, Smitty, is Lakers, Ingram. <laughs> fuck, I mean, look at Kuzma. Kuzma was a pretty good young talent. They got rid of a lot of young talent to get LeBron and make this team what it is. Jordan Clarkson, yeah. old ass team, and Super I don't know old. why we're depending on an old ass player. I'll be listen. Don't give. Don't just give LeBron. Don't feel bad for LeBron. We gave Kobe the same energy when he was in in his career. We gave these dudes their same energy. It's time to go. It's as it's, it's a young man's time up. I remember Larry Bird retired. I hated it. I was like, oh, man, Larry Bird. Guess what? It was his time, dog. Like, why are we depending on a 40-year-old in one of the greatest organizations of all time to win? So, so it's a lot. So, all right, let me let me go to you first, and I'm, I'm going to try to remember everything that Matt said. I agree with you. We, we should not be depending on LeBron to lead it. That's why the, the plan from the from the jump was the, the hope that AD was going to eventually take over the reign. That was the plan, at least. LeBron will be able to take a back seat, be the number two. But we know AD up until this year, because he played 76 yeah. games this year. So he I don't want to. And the guy played terrible. 76 games this season. So I, I do want to give him his credit awful. only because he, did, he is playing this year and he has been balling this year so i can't i can't just use every other previous season to, to, to stop this year but the plan was for him to be that guy to this point he hasn't been that guy so lebron has, hasn't been able to take his foot off the gas pedal and that's why you've seen the lakers com- continue to be on in the bubble literally um back to what matt was saying though man he said, he said a lot but just because lebron isn't at his peak form of lebron doesn't mean you got to retire we've seen a lot of all-time greats tim uh, tim duncan um, um, I would even say I know Dirk had a crazy run in that playoff series, but that to me that wasn't that that, that entire year wasn't just peak like this the best of Dirk. We seen a lot of old heads still be oh, wow. in. Hold on, let me continue. Hold, let me continue. We seen a Dirk lot of old heads stay. We seen a lot of old heads stay in the game, and when they can still play good, but maybe they're not at their peak. LeBron is still playing at a very high level. He does not at his peak, LeBron James. Oh, and for That's us to me. for us to let me finish. For us to go in here and 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 say LeBron is 40 years old, won't you go out there and just have a magical ass run? I mean, what what 40 year old has had a magical run and led the team to, to win it in basketball? And ba- I don't in basketball. Well, that's um, I, 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 I know that's my point. Man. So like, that's that's MJ, MJ I'm not a LeBron. And, and MJ you know. was with the Wizards, and he didn't, and they didn't do shit. So all yeah, I'm saying is, that's like, that's I'm not even a LeBron funny. guy, but I'm saying the expectation that we put on him is is, is kind of crazy, though. It's like, uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. You know why? 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 He's you know why? the best player that you come with expectation. The expectation. We didn't do that. We did not. We did not do that with a lot of these other greats. When Jordan was on the Wizards, when Jordan was what? 40 years old, did, did we Bro. say, "Oh, damn, he about to, he got to lead the Wizards to the championship this year"? No, we no, didn't. But, but you know, but we we maybe did it, but you, you don't remember that. You were four. Give me a break. Okay. Like, look, <laughs> well, let's be real. The the the, the, the fucking narrative around Jordan going back to the Wizards is way different than the narrative that's around LeBron going and holding the Lakers hostage. The Lakers can't get any better than the sixth, seventh, or eighth seed. Because they've got a bunch of guys that don't want to play basketball. They want to get played. They want to get paid to dress up like basketball players. AD got his ring. He doesn't need another one. He's content. He's That guy's the biggest slappy in basketball. I don't care how many games he played this year. So he heard everybody talking shit about how much of a softy he was. So he decided to play 76 games. Congratulations, dog. You, you get paid to play basketball. Go play basketball. All I'm saying is LeBron James is special. We know that. No one's saying he's not. I think 
this this expectation that the quote unquote goat shouldn't be at the top of his game because he's old. When he when he takes care of his body the way he does, he spends God knows how much money, millions of dollars a year on his body. He's constantly taking care of himself. He looks straight. He plays hard. He can't do that with a night off in between. If he's playing basketball, he's not fucking storming the beat. He's not storming Normandy. I mean, it's not. It, it's a hard job, but Jesus Christ, it ain't that fucking hard when you're that good. So I, I mean, come on, man, you're, you're sitting here asking. Like, I got, I got, I got to chime in on Smitty's take here. The, you said the expectation shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that high as expectation. I disagree. He's 168 million dollars towards the cap. The Lakers can't get nothing else. He is hostage. holding that fucking franchise hostage with his money. Kobe got paid like that his last year too. Kobe got paid that last year too. Lakers, Lakers pay the Lakers pay their stars, bro. That's what it is. The Lakers have a hard time getting rid of their that's agents. What that's, that's, what, that's what they do, though. We know that. Baby. And Kobe carried the brunt, right? He had the big shoulders. He said, "All right, well, it's me. Go ahead." I'm gonna Kobe Kobe didn't hold, do on, hold on, hold on. Kobe. Kobe did not play with us last year. Let's keep your he did. He did. We all know that. And the Lakers were trash when he left. That's I love true. Kobe. I'm just, you know. But Kobe spent his entire career in LA. LeBron came there when he was old. LeBron was old when he got there, guys. And now it's just year after year after year. I'm telling you, Laker fans, if you want to improve, you need to break it down to brass tacks and rebuild like Oklahoma City just did, like Minnesota just did. Go through the draft, find good talent, get talent around it, bam, develop it. The same thing the Nuggets did. All those guys, with the exception of KCP, are homegrown. Like, I'm sorry, going out and trying to just it, – it worked in the bubble when they had three months off and then get to go live at Disney World and shit when everyone's locked in their house. But since then, that shit ain't working, and it won't work next year. You can go get, you could go get Phil Jackson and the fucking triangle bitch to coach the fucking team again, and it won't matter. Period. It won't matter. LeBron and AD, and LeBron basically is holding the team hostage so he can play with his kid, and the well, entire you, fucking Laker you, you Laker Nation thinks this is okay. Smitty, you think this is a you think it's okay this current way for the Lake? You're a Laker fan, so I know right. I know you're defending the you, who people call the goat. You're defending his greatness. You're not defending the Lake. But yeah, and, and JB, like let's be clear. You know I'm not even LeBron guy. I'm just saying there's certain yeah. things that as that, that I we as anti-LeBron people will go at him as like, all right, y'all. We probably reach yeah, but I'm saying that. this is not a LeBron thing. It's a Laker thing. So are you defending LeBron versus the organization as getting to get better? Because they're not getting better, Smitty. This is it. Like, you got to either cut bait with both AD and LeBron and go young or get ready to pay this dude and draft his fucking shitty son. Oh, well, this is a separate conversation. No, I I, I agree. Oh, in, 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 in order in order for us to... In order for the for the team to get better and grow, yeah, we we got to we got to make some major moves. Something big, something big. Well, what, what are we what are we doing then? <laughs> this is a professional. This isn't a college. They're not ready to recruit a new class, homie. No, I'm with. I mean, I'm just saying what, what I'm saying right now. The season's over. Like there's nothing, nothing we do right now today. So I'm saying yes. After this yeah. season, whenever this season ends, there needs to be some major moves. Be, there needs to be hey, made if the Lakers want to compete for championships. Clause, is what I'm saying. He has a no I'm trade. I'm saying we'll trade AD and get peace. I'm saying something. I'm saying major moves has to happen. So I'm not saying it's, it's LeBron being moved. Stay old with so LeBron. Something has to happen. Is all I'm saying. I don't know what those all moves right. are. That's why my GM. 